good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, it's Diane Ackman. I'm here with Tula Jen. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tula Jen and Angela will have a couple people come over. Um, you know, it's funny when I was planning this hangout, I wanted to put it together to be available to, to just have a discussion about blogging, the power of it, what it's done for, for us. Um, and um, I was heading, uh, I was planning a trip to my in laws on Long Island, and that's when I got the inspiration that we should have a little coffee talk. Angela, I love your video. You're absolutely <laughs> fabulous. You know who I think we should have had on today? He would have made a little interesting discussion because he's a conversationalist. I think we should have had on Donald Trump. What do you think? You know, Donald, he could have come, he could have come on. His hair could have blown around a little bit. He gets very excited. He's awesome. <laughs> hey, hang on. Let's all pull our hair over right. now. <laughs> Uh, Y'all yeah. understand, people think I'm a marketer. I'm not. I just amuse myself and they pay me to do it. <laughs> oh, gosh. But seriously, I'm looking for Jeff Lanny, trying to get him over. There he is. Let's try. Try again. Jeff, I'm hitting the button. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hitting the button. Okay? It, it's pulling you. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. And let's, let's check the chat. Um, I always like to say check the chat. It sounds naughty somehow. Uh, let's see who's on this morning. Ah, uh, hey. Okay. Yeah, he made it. Yeah. All right, Amy, Sue, Judy, Randy. Randy, Randy's got a secret session tonight. Excited about that. Sammy, Sammy, Thomas, J, Lisa, Ruth. Uh, hello, Lisa. Hello. You guys, you guys can see the chat, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all can see the chat, right? Okay. All right. See Wait, when I'm. Why is my Why picture, is my so, picture much so much wider, wider than everyone else? Than everyone else? Uh, it's like your camera. Hmm. Are you unhappy? Well, you have like these cool Japanese screens or something in the background. <laughs> I know. I was banished to the basement, so I didn't want you guys to see the mess. <laughs> but that's see, but that's brilliant because people go, I don't have anywhere to do a, a webinar. I don't have anywhere to cut videos. No, actually, you do. You just need to come up with solutions. Hi, Arthur. Um. Um, you know, you just need to come up with solutions, and that's a solution. I used to do that upstairs with my um, my black screen, because I have a green screen, a white screen, and a black screen. You know, mm. like I have a thing. They're not expensive. You can get them on Amazon. And I would take them, and I would divide the room. So one side of the room would be really messy, but all people would see was black screen. Lately, I've been hanging out in front of the fireplace, because I've been liking being in the middle of the home instead of banished to my office. So, Joe Knack! Joe Knack! It's, I'm telling you guys, it's old friends week. Some of my very old, lovely friends have shown up. You know, Joe's wife created my original very first graphic I ever had made for anything ever. Um, and I'm still uh, indebted to Peggy because I didn't know what a graphic was. This was like probably 2007, 2008 maybe. Joe, it's so good to see you. Um, so guys, uh, what I want to do today is... Um, kind of ascertain who we have in the group. Um, you know, we're going to basically just talk about um, to blog or not to blog, discuss, <laughs> you know, and go through and talk about, you know, I've had a blog for many years. Um, I've had several different ones, um, and it's been very fruitful for me, but I wrote a letter the other day, and I said I always used to poo-poo blogging for new, new marketers, um, simply because they would get so caught up in it, they weren't, uh, making any presentations, they weren't making any sales, they weren't, you know, if folks, you know, if they're building a downline, they weren't, um, you know, building a team. They'd get really caught up in their blog, and the next thing you know, it would be six months, a year gone by, and they had a beautiful purple sparkly blog or something, but no money. So I always used to say, save that for later. Um, but now things have changed. With the new three minute expert attraction marketing edition course and the launch of the sites blogging platform this past week people can have and we're going to demo Wednesday night and we'll give everybody the link Wednesday night Jim's going to come on he's going to demo and make a beautiful looking blog in 10 minutes and show anybody how they can do it now to me that that's what turned me around and in fact can I be frank kids or should I be 
Or should I call me Shirley? <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm Shirley, Shirley. 70s week, 70s and 80s week. You know, I'm, I'm all my. Call me Shirley. <clears throat> Shirley, you just don't call me Shirley. What movie is that, Betty? Airplane. Thank yeah. you. Oh, Airplane. I love my. I love you guys. Um, you know, I just I like simple. I like profitable. Call me crazy. You know, so. When I saw when they first started putting this together, don't tell the guys I told you. But it was a little complicated. Okay, and now mm -hmm. there's still things because there's advanced options. Um, you know, and Tula can speak to this in a few minutes because Tula's more, you know, she's experienced with all this stuff. She knows a lot about it. But um, when I saw it originally, this was months ago, I was just like, guys, don't do this. Just don't do this. This is a mistake. You're going to get everybody off on a tangent. Everybody will slow down. They won't make any money. When they don't make any money, they quit. They move along, etc. And um, and the guys were like, no. And and they had all this like um, really fancy internet talk. You know, it was the granular propagation of the uh, across the interweb of the IP <laughs> elementop of the circular something with the international protocol of the something and I'm like, and, and it's funny because I know what all the term I know what HTTP is I know what all the terms are it's just that I don't talk in them you know and so the guys had and Jim's like we have to use the international protocol <laughs> and I'm like Jim how do we use English it's this incredible language they speak it all over the world and so I'll admit I was the first, I was in there going like guys stop it this is just goofy. But then they, and in fact, I kept, I was giving them a really hard time when we were in Vegas because they had streamlined a lot of it, but there still wasn't um, one that if you got started that looked presentable out of the gate. You still had to do certain things to it. And I said, you need something that somebody can do in 10 minutes. And they've yeah. delivered it. Mm -hmm. They've delivered it. Now, now, for people like Tula, genius over here, she can make it all fancy, dancy, dancy, dancy. I, I don't know anything about that stuff, but she can. If you guys love that stuff, but I want to make sure that we have a product that everybody can access. Yeah. But that still suits the more advanced market. That's what I'm looking for because we're known to have some pretty cool tools. So we don't want to have something that the, that the more experienced people can't really do what they want with. It has to be completely customizable. It has to be function. Uh, it has to have functionality that the advanced user wants, that the standard WordPress user wants. But it has to be something that Johnny, that's just getting started, can get done in ten minutes. And maybe you know, if he's never touched anything before, it may take him an hour. Yeah. What takes you know somebody like me who's been doing this for years, ten minutes might take somebody who's never done it for an hour. But I think an hour to have a fully functioning blog. Easy. Easy. Right? Easy. Remember what it was like back when, Tula? T Tula, mm -hmm. take it away. Tell everybody your thoughts on this and, and so on. Tell us. Well, well, you know, I used to try and promote people into you got to have a blog, you got to have a blog. But the reality was all the technical things you had to do People shied away from it, and so I stopped talking to people about blogging, that you need to have a blog, it's the best way to get leads, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm, I'm excited because now I can get back into, listen, you have no excuse now. You can get a blog now. You can have a blog, and you need it. You, you need a home base out there that has nothing to do with your MLM, because uh, I've been through it twice twice where I built a site online surrounded by the MLM and then things happened. One MLM crashed, crashed and burned and, and it stunk. And then the other I left and there was all this content that, you know, I had to drop the website. Tula, and before you go on, wait, before mm -hmm. you go on, I noticed that you did your nails for the coffee talk. <laughs> Why us the nails? Because I see, wait, let me let me blue box you here or white box you, whatever. So we can see Tula is very good with nails. She's always talking <laughs> about it. And this week she has a purple sparkly with kind of a pinwheel with a sparkly effect. Jeff, do you like the nails? How do you feel? As our representative gentleman, we need to know. Do you go for the glammy nails? Do you like classic red? Do you like a little design, a little spice? What are your thoughts? I wish I would have had more time to do my own. I know, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> so I didn't mean to interrupt you. They were just like kind of going. Hey, hey. <laughs> Mine are so boring. Mine are friends this week. They're kind of boring. So yours were like. Well, you, you know, know what? what? It's Crap. such a creative outlet for me. I just love to do it. That's you do that to yourself? Yes. I always be posting about nails. We have to do another coffee talk about nails. Totally separate <laughs> for fun. You know, you guys laugh. I'm doing the Hawk Mania show at night. I, I think I'm going to add some coffee talks that are not really about products in the future. I just like the I like the vibe. Coffee talk. Let's get together and talk about a topic. And, and that's a morning thing. So anyway, to I'm starting to interrupt. I think that's a win. No, I think that's a winner. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Have a little coffee. <laughs> 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 oh gosh, we're oh ridiculous. <laughs> oh gosh, Jeff, Jeff, you ha you had a site for a while, yes? Yes. 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 He's 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 answering in one word sen sentence this, this week. Yes, you've had a site for a while. I've had a How site long? for a while. Um, okay. Am I the only one here? My echo. Yeah. You, oh, that's why you're quiet. Cause yeah, you're the only one hearing your echo. We're having all kinds of challenges today with. That's all right. Um, yeah, I've had it for a little bit, a little while. I started one uh, maybe four months ago. Mm -hmm. I could never get it the way I wanted it to look. I didn't advertise it all that much. It was kind of embarrassing. Couldn't get the colors right. Couldn't get the graphics right. Didn't have anything really to talk about. Didn't have anything to really sell on it. Yeah. So I put the brakes on it. Yeah. And then and when I, they made the announcement at Live the Dream about sites, all of a sudden all those things started turn the wheels started turning in my head again. And the one thing I like about a blog is I, I look at a blog not just as a quote unquote blog. It's your internet presence. So a lot of big companies have websites and they sell their stuff on websites. It's not a blog. It's a website for them. For us, it's the same thing. It's a website. We're just able to then communicate through that, making it a quote-unquote blog. But the ability for us to, to communicate our message, help people, offer advice, um, and then be able to plug and play products yep. that we feel will help people based on how they've helped us. Um, that's amazing. Just in it general. Is. It just, what we have makes it so much simpler than what you would have had to go through to do that even a year ago. Even two weeks ago. <laughs> that was yeah. on the tip of my tongue, but yes. You know, it's funny because there are some other um, places out there that do have blog interfaces that are, some of them have done some good work in streamlining them, but um, what I like about sites and My Lead System Pro, and Jen, I'm going to come to you next, just so you know, um, is that it, My Lead System Pro is a, is a school and a tool provider. It's not an opportunity. Um, it's, you know, it does have an affiliate program, as do many places. It's not an opportunity. There is no, you know, big ticket upsell on the back end. There is no, you don't, you know, sign up for a couple of bucks, and the next thing you know, you figured out that you can't, you know, we're, we're not here to, this is not for you to make money. This, I mean, that, that's coming out wrong. This is not, like, you're not getting a blog for the sake of selling blogs, Okay. <laughs> You're getting a blog for the sake of building your name, your authority, your entity on the internet. If you choose to become an affiliate and because you want to share it with people, you have team members or whatever that want the same tools, that's awesome. And we have affiliates, including myself, that have, have made quite a bit of money here, but that's not what we do. That's not the essence of what this is. This isn't a business opportunity. It's been here for eight years. It's stable. By the way, I turned on the Q&A. We're going to take some questions if anybody has any questions about the system. I've been kind of privy to information about it for quite a while, so I'm able to answer quite a few. I'm specifically looking for questions from people that have not gotten the, the site set up yet, 
um, you know, that are that are looking at it. Um, you know, those of you that are members of My Lead System Pro, you certainly um, can go in our Facebook group, and there's pretty much 24-hour support there with that type of stuff. So I'm not going to answer questions like, how do I make my blog purple? Um, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm looking for <laughs> questions about branding, positioning, how could you use it best. I might even do a couple of mini consultations if we have time, you know, kind of talk to someone about what, they, uh, what they're doing and how I would use this. Um, <clears throat> questions like if you have a previous blog or something like that and you want to know how that gets handled and you're looking at this um, absolutely but for members you know you guys can go ahead and uh, and uh, ask those questions you know your technical questions and stuff like that inside the MLSP group I just want to give a shout out to I saw Linda come on I haven't seen you in ages Linda good to see you here uh, Chris Kelly I think he sneakily popped in he's probably <laughs> gone by now <laughs> Chris Julian uh, um, if I didn't say your name is not on purpose guys I'm just, just scanning uh, Justin's in the house Justin if you want to come out let me know so Jen, unmute up and tell us what what are your thoughts? What are your you've been around the game for a little while? You're forty licious. You're you 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 know you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite the I love age range. She she that's her thing. She does cool videos. Let's be clear. Yeah, you know I my journey with blogging sounds a little bit like Jeff's. In the beginning, I tried to do one from scratch. I don't know and. It was a lot of four-letter words, a lot of frustration, couldn't get it to look like I wanted to, <laughs> and so I hired somebody to do it, so I spent money doing that, and then when I needed support later on, because things, it's not just someone sets it up and you walk away, you need support on it, you need, you might want to make changes, and didn't have anyone to help me do that, so again, that blog went ee, um, so when sites came along, and I, I did find a done-for-you platform that I'm using right now, but um, the sites, the plugins, and all the features that came with it were just amazing, and it puts it all under one roof for me, because I'm a mom, I'm busy, I'm 40 licious, I need to streamline my whole business. So <laughs> to have everything in one place for me da -da -da -da, was just a godsend. I was like, well, thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm super excited to get this transferred over up and running and start understanding better how to make become an authority raise training I mean did you see all the modules in there guys I was just blown away I was blown away <laughs> by the potential now that, that we can just bring this to a whole another level you know guys what Jen's talking about is inside of her my lead system pro platform because what we have right now is a bundle and it's only available to Wednesday night and what you get is the three minute expert attraction marketing edition from Ray Higdon and Ray is a, a gazillion dollar earner <laughs> you know he's he's just I mean his blog is literally doing I think the last count was thirty thousand dollars a week in sales I mean it's like crazy right um, so a week not a month a week in sales um, you know and I've known him probably since he put it up the most consistent guy the most knowledgeable guy so his training and then inside and then you get a free 30 days membership to my lead system pro and when Jen says all under one roof that means her website builder her capture page builder her funnel builder her customer relationship management tool um, which is it's called a CRM you know out there um, and all that is is to keep track of all your people you can set notifications you can take notes this guy is stinky this guy is super cool this guy's smart I wanna you know I wanna date this guy you can write whatever you want you can tell yourself when to follow up with them you know you can tell them tell yourself when to wink at them on Facebook etc you can send out pre-write emails and have them ready to send out to people I'm amusing Tula this morning <laughs> so it's really amazing. plus now her blog is all gonna be under the same roof plus her training library um, etc etc so if she is looking for a content idea for her blog she could literally go search a term in the training library and just scan through and go oh there's a good idea boom there she goes so um, it's all together and it's an incredible value and we give you a month uh, for free to go poke around and and check it all out and etc and put up your blog and all that other stuff and if you hate it guess what you can cancel and get your money back you know mm -hmm. that's what I always say I'm going to take a couple of questions, Angela, and I'm coming down the pike to you. Uh, we have Steve, who just got the platform. Um, he's asking, will we have just one blog, or are we able to have multiple blogs under one user account? Je um, Steve, I'm calling you Steve, I'm looking at Jeff. Steve, at this point, everybody who is a member at any level has one blog. 
And we did that for a very smart reason. Uh, all, we don't need people installing 26 blogs, you know, and stuff when they haven't gotten one up and running and really functional. At a later date, I hear a little birdie tells me that the mastery members probably will get certain advantages and extra things that the university members won't. We have two levels of membership, um, which you can check out. We can give you information on that. So everybody gets a trial to mastery, which is our turbo membership. Um, so mastery members, as always, will get certain advantages later, which could include additional uh, the ability to create additional blogs, could include additional uh, software plugins and different things for your blog. Um, that will be revealed at a later date. We just wanted to get this launched and get everybody on board. Um, and then he also asked a question, and then I'll come back from where I'm going to do two, and then I'll go to Angela. Um, a question about um, branding, and I know we're not on the topic of Facebook, but uh, I'll, I'll mention it because he asked about personal pages or fan pages, and that goes hand in hand with your blog because you're you're taking your content and you're posting it on on Facebook and other social media um, outlets. This is the way I look at it. Um, you know, and some people are like, you should only use you should only use a fan page or you should only use your profile. I don't think only is anything. Profiles are for networking. You are who you are. You have a business, just like you know, John might be a doctor, a lawyer, an Indian chief, whatever his business is. It's his name and it's a place for him to network and meet other people. Fan pages are for your business and it represents your business. Now, the weird thing about home business owners is for a lot of us we're one and the same. Mm -hmm. See, if I were if I were Diane Hockman and I owned a hair uh, I own the Super Snip Hair Salon, right? I would have a fan page for Super Snip Hair Salon and I would have a profile for Diane Hockman. So, would I potentially share on my profile that that some cool is going on at Super Snip? Sure, because it's what I do. So I would I would share that. But would I be doing a lot of marketing through my fan page because that's how I advertise? Yes. You can't go in Facebook groups with a fan page. You have to go in through your profile. So you're actually, because you are your business, both are important. And that's a topic for another coffee talk, another day. You're a Hawkmania or something. <laughs> but uh, Angela, let me make you big. I've made you big. I love when she sits in front of her wall of beauty. <laughs> Well, well, I'm I'm a mom, you mom. know. <laughs> uh, an excellent mom of eight. It's like, yeah, and and I've been wanting to get a blog up and running for quite a while. I I see other people have that, and I understand it's a great way to brand myself and be able to share family stuff and business stuff because there's a lot of families out there and. Um, I'm more than just a, my business, I, you know, I'm my family and I want to be able to share that as part of a section of my blog and um, it was just so hard, you know, when I was researching and looking to set one up, I mean, I, I was overwhelmed to say the least about everything that um, there was to do and when I saw sites come out. I was so excited about that. Um, being able to three clicks and have it up is pretty amazing. And then with the three minute expert from Ray Higdon, you know, that just knocks it right out of the park. I mean, Ray's just basically taken all of his experience and put it together saving people a lot of time, a lot of frustration, a lot of money. He just kind of boils it all down into here are the most important things for this, here are the most important. And guys, again, I've known Ray for a million years. He is not a technical guy. Okay, I mean, it, it becomes a joke. Like the other night on the, on the Wednesday night webinar, he was talking about using an MLSP video that's like two years old. Like, you know, and he's like, oh, this is the one I like. And Brian's like laughing, like, we don't even have that one anymore. Because Ray <laughs> doesn't, he's not technical. Um, which goes to show you that creating authority, which we did a couple blabs on that last, you know, last week, and we're not going to get into it a lot today, but creating authority is more attractive than knowing everything about how to run something on the internet. I can't tell you that enough because many of the top players are 100%, especially in network marketing, um, but the, even in this space, I mean, it's funny, I'm the number one affiliate program, and I know how to use like four parts of it. And they all laugh at me. I don't know how to set anything up. <laughs> I know how to generate a lead and how to make money, sell something. And isn't that really what we all need? 
So a blog becomes a place to express ourselves to attract people. And yeah, we need to know how to figure out keywords and what people want us to talk about. And that's what I like about this. Ray focuses more on the psychology. A lot of bloggers are busy telling you how to look up the words that people are searching for. Ray teaches you how to know the mind of your market. Mm. The, see, keyword searches are going to change and all that stuff is going to change and the competition is going to change. The mind of your market, I've been in this market for 16 years, the mind of the market hasn't really changed at all. Some of the tools that they look for have changed, or the, the buzzwords, but the mind of the market hasn't changed an ounce. So when you create this space where people can, I always say people need to sniff you. They see you, they go, I kind of like that person. They seem like they're good, they might be a good, good. Now they need to sit and sniff you for a while. And what you don't realize about somebody like Ray or me and a lot of uh, you know top marketers, the people who buy from us, they've been sniffing us for hours because we've created libraries of pla places with libraries full of content that they could check us out. So usually when somebody becomes my customer, they've already watched 10 videos. They've already read a bunch of pieces. They've been on my newsletter for a little while. So if you guys are working hard to try to, you know, get traction, but you're not providing a peop people a, a, kind of like an oven to bacon, you know, in you, like, you know, like you're surrounding them, let, let you um, permeate their mind and for them to get to know you, they need to feel like they know you to buy from you. Unless it's a knee-jerk sale, which is a different story. That's cold market knee-jerk sale. People will buy stuff because they see it and it's hot, like a JVZoo type of thing. But the people who make the biggest money are the people that have that name and authority. And this gives you the ability to do it, which is pretty cool. Justin, your thoughts? No, nah, you're absolutely right. You know, the thing that, uh, the thing that I, was, I was listening to Jeff talk, and I'm thinking, man, I really I, I feel your pain because I had a blog. You know, I started blogging, I guess, about a year and a half, two years ago. And I just didn't – I knew I was supposed to be blogging, but I didn't really understand exactly what I should be doing and why I should be doing and since um, since joining MLSP, digging into the training, a lot of it to do with Ray and of course uh, Diane. You know, I, I, the, my mind is opened up to how to drive the blog, like how to work the blog. Like you can park a car in the driveway, and great, you have a car, but do you know how to work it? Do you know how? And I don't mean technically. I mean exactly what you were just saying, Diane. Like. What is the point of the blog? What should I be doing on the blog? I think those are more important because Sites makes it very simple. The technology now is very simple. And I paid somebody to set mine up. It took forever. Now you can set yours up with Sites in three clicks. You're done, right? And like you said, James is going to talk about that this week. But like the, the, now that you've got it, what do you do with it? And I think the reason I love this community MLSP more than anything is the same reason why it's important to be around with the blog and with sites. Is this you ever have a question about anything pre sites? You go into the community in MLSP and the Facebook and you ask it and you've got the answer like that. There are you're not alone. You're not alone. And um, that's the great thing about this because the blogging thing is like it's a journey. You're going to start and you're going to learn something every single day, every new post that you make, um, and there's going to be people there every step of the way. I just love that. I mean, to me, that's like that's the beauty of of our community and, and the amazing people that are in it. That they kind of wrap your wrap their hands a, a, around you and and their arms around you, and 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 they're there to walk with you. Yeah, big time, big time. Um, I'm going to take a question, um, and then I'm inviting any of you guys that have questions to write in. Hi, we have a visitor. Yay. I love when we have visitors. I like puppies, kids. Anybody have a lizard or anything cool? I mean, um, one of the girls has a turtle she brings sometimes. Echo comes around sometimes. Um, ah! Oh, that's your stuff. What? That's your little statue. Where are your cool dogs? It's a bookmark. <laughs> I know. It's a book I know. I'm like, oh, We're all like... It's a paperweight of some sort or whatever. All right, bye, honey. <laughs> um, and then I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to. There you go. Jeff's got his buddy. 
Um, I'm oh. going to tell you, I'm going to, can, can I be controversial? It is coffee talk, you know, it is coffee talk. I'm going to tell you why I didn't really promote this product when it came out by itself. You know, there was a huge launch, and I'm usually a top player in these types of launches, and I, I didn't really promote it, and I'm going to tell you why um, in a minute. Once we take a question, so um, Chris says um, she's starting a transformational coaching business. She doesn't have a program yet. I'm thinking of using the MLSP blog for promoting MLSP and products and using a separate blog for my coaching. Am I overcomplicating things? Okay. First, I want all of you to get out of this idea that you're not, you know how like, like there's young ladies that think they're not complete until they've found a man and if you haven't found a program, you know, or you don't have a program or whatever. Um, you are you and what you want to do is brand you and build a list talking about the things that you want to build an audience for. Okay. Ray's training, he really talks about this, you know, how do you pick your niche and all that other stuff. And then, <clears throat> and then what happens is opportunities arrive. And I want you really, guys to really understand, if you have a list and a following, the opportunities are pretty much endless. You're going to get, you, see, you know how you get pitched on the internet now with all this goofy stuff? Um, you know, like people, like, I had a guy the other day, he's like, you know, I'm like-minded and all this other stuff. You know how people send you all these links and weird stuff? Well, imagine... You get a call from top players going, hey, there's something that's going to be opening up. We're, we're taking master distributors. And you get in before everybody else. You've always dreamed about being at the top, and you've always dreamed about having that opportunity, and you've always dreamed about all this stuff. Guess what? If you build this entity, those opportunities will come to you. You'd be stunned at the calls that you get. Like, I know every launch that's coming down the road long before any of you guys. And I'm not saying that to be a snot. It's just because they know I can bring the heat. So I get advance notice on everything. And it's a leg up. Make no mistake. So when you build your blog, Chris, the blog should be about you and the things that you want to talk about. If you feel that the two things you want to talk about are completely different, then yes, you can have two blogs. But the question I always have for people is, are you going to manage two blogs? For me, the answer is no. I used to have a bunch of lists, and I found out that what would happen is I would let the different lists slip. So I just went down to one list. It's me. And I talk about different stuff. And if somebody doesn't like my stuff, then they don't get on my list. But I don't have a bunch of different lists. It's just one place. It's very simple. If you're fancier or you know you can manage both, definitely do. But I think that transformational coaching and business building go hand in hand for a lot of people. And you don't have to be embarrassed about one or the other because... Uh, a lot of the people that you're going to do transformational coaching with have home businesses. So they need tools and training. A lot of people have home businesses. Guess what they need? Transformational coaching. Why do you think we added Larry Hockman onto the, the Hockman and, you know, entity over here? Because so many of my customers and clients needed counseling. He's a professional counselor. Amen. They needed coaching. Amen. They needed mindset. You know, and I do mindset, but I'm mean. So, right, Tula? I'm mean. So, <laughs> so, so Larry's the hogger of the crew. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm, direct, I'm, Diane. I'm yes, I'm direct. We'll be politically correct. He so. uses the carrot, you use the stick. <laughs> So, so I was like, man, they're all going to leave me if I don't get Larry to hug me. I'm a hugger. I'm a lover. You just haven't been with me. Jeff, am I a hugger? Am I a hugger? Right? Jeff, I'm a hugger. Say it. He's You're a hugger. He's, hugger. he's rolling his eyes at me. Stop it or I'm not letting you come here. I'm a hugger. Justin knows I'm a hugger. Hug it out. Hug it out. out. Classic. Guys, you know what? People pay me. To help them make money. So we have to, I have to talk to people about the realities of making money. People pay Larry to help them get past their blockages. See, I yeah. deal with people post blockage. I deal with the people that are ready to get going. I can't, I can't, um, that's my job. You know what I mean? My job, like, like if, um, if you want to be a professional football player, you go and you see the coach. If you are upset about something that happened in your household and relationship, the coach can do so much, and then he's going to send you off to see the, you know, the team counselor do. He's not going to sit because the coach has to coach hardcore. He has to push you. Um, so just two different things. So, so Chris, for you, I don't think you need two sites. I really don't. I think you need one. I think that it's just you know Chris Julian Consulting or something like that or Chris Jul uh, Julian Coaching. 
Um, and by the way, if anybody else, we have, we do have a little time. I don't have a lot of questions. So if anybody wants a mini makeover or consultation, um, let me know. And yes, the blog, uh, we had a question. The blog is available right now to both levels of membership in My Lead System Pro. Now, up until Wednesday, we have this special offer. I did put it in the chat once. I'll send it out again. I highly encourage you guys to take it, and I'll tell you in a minute why I didn't promote this product before, and I'm promoting it now. I highly encourage you to get the deal. Highly. Okay? But if you don't have the money, or, you know, and by the way, there's three payments, so you can, you know, there's many options available, and it'll cover your your membership um, to get out of the gate, to get things going. But if for any reason you can't do it, something's up in your life, can you just get an MLSP membership at this point with the person that invited you and get access to the website, uh, to the blogs? Yes. By the way, if you're invited by any of our team that's on board, you got to check. You should, I mean, only the only people promoting today should have been, you know, folks that you're seeing here and a couple other folks. Um, so you shouldn't be here if you weren't invited by one of us. We are offering my December intensive that I do every year that's normally $497. For free, this year's obviously our topic will be blogging. Um, we're going to be working on all of this as a group, and it's free. If you get the blog bundle and get on board with this, you get to come to that for free, which is pretty gosh darn cool. Um, I have done December intensive for many years now. Oh gosh, at least five, probably not more. I already have people contacting me wanting to know when I'm opening up December intensive, and you know, and I'm not opening it up to the public this year. It's only this team, um, because I have I have one girl that like keeps begging me because she's not she's in she's in another team and she's like but I always come I come to December intensive every year and I'm like honey I'm sorry <laughs> so December intensive is exclusive this year it is uh, on blogging it is using this stuff and I'm really looking for people in particular anybody who has a membership we're probably gonna let in the door because come Wednesday night when this closes out are we gonna not let people who get a membership after that come yeah we'll probably let them come but they're gonna be kinda not at an advantage because they won't have raised training I'm not gonna be doing the training I'm gonna be doing the action with everybody and I'm gonna be teaching some of my super secret goody things that I've done with my blogs um, I haven't been an avid blogger like Ray but I've made a lot of money with my blog um, I always saw it as like a secondary or tertiary thing because again it wasn't duplicatable I'm a business trainer and I firmly believe in not really focusing on something that people can't do and that brings me to why I didn't really promote three minute expert when it first came out I did send out an email and I helped my friend Mark Harbert he was competing there was a big contest there was a twenty five thousand dollar prize which I probably could have won but you see guys I don't care about a prize I care about my people and the course, the initially the course, you had to do the whole install. You had to do all the stuff. You had to go find a graphic artist. You had to find this. You had to find that. There's a whole section of the course. Race changed the course for us. The original course, the whole first section was mind hurting, how to get your blog up. Um, and I just don't feel that that's an activity that home business owners should be doing. Uh, I think they should be bloggers. I don't think they should be blog designers or blog technicians, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Unless that's what you do for your home business. That's a whole different story. If that's what you do for your business and you do that for people, then obviously that's what you do. Um, but, you know, the average person that wants to build an MLM or wants to sell affiliate products, it's it's a, I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a deep abyss. <laughs> it's a hole, okay? Yeah. Not, that, not the good kind of deep abyss. It's a hole that people mm -hmm. fall into. I can't steer my people down a hole. Yeah. Now we've we've filled in the hole. There is no more hole. So that's what I'm excited about. That's why I didn't really promote it, even though I love Ray and I'd always support Ray. I did, you know, I, I kinda like sent out an email going here, it's here, because I knew people were gonna buy it anyway. And and we did make some sales from my list. Um, and then we gave him Mark's free stuff that Mark was giving away. But I just my heart wasn't in it. So it's interesting now because now I'm full bore and, and everybody's like, well, what changed? What changed is sites. I'm excited about sites and the training that goes with it. That's really it. 
So I'll check the chat. Does anybody else have a question or anything? If not, we'll blow out. We'll we'll uh, we'll go off on our way because we had a very nice time. Maybe is anybody available for Mahjong later, or maybe a little shopping trip down the Macy's or Bloomingdale's? I like to go to both. I prefer Macy's. <laughs> a and S. What? You that accent. I don't know. This is, I have people in my family that this is how they talk. You just don't know. We went. By the way, we went to di the diner for breakfast. We went to the Lake Grove diner, not the other one in Smithtown. I like the Lake Grove one. You know why? Because the people there, they know us. They treat us right. I'm just saying. <laughs> so. I'm confused. I'm confused between oh, no. Saturday Night, Night Live and Joan Rivers. Well, you know, I can't do Linda Richmond. She's just like... Discuss, you know. And by the way, I thought I didn't have time. You cracked me up, Angela, because if I had had time, I would have put on the sweater and the pearls and and everything else. And and I was gonna do my, I was gonna put <laughs> rollers in my hair and make my hair like '80s big. Um, but and and I didn't realize because I got the, I I didn't get color, you know, because I need color mm. to be Linda Richmond. Well, I, think, I I ran around this morning. I was like. I really need to do a video. So I was like, where's my where's my big neck sweater? And um, my my mother-in-law unfortunately passed away, but she has all this big great jewelry. So I was you know, digging I for some of that. Some some big, you know what I mean, some, yeah. some I need some really big ones. It's yeah. Fashion jewelry. <laughs> exactly. It's not expensive, darling. It's not expensive. It's fun if I lose one, it's not a problem. I like that my good jewelry's in this big. <laughs> Harvey locks it up for me. I only take it out on special occasions. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know this blogging thing? They didn't do blogging back in my day. I don't know about it, but it seems to be very popular. So I think it's just... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, <laughs> you got to be modern. That's what I always say. You got to be modern. You got to keep up with the times. Otherwise, you get old. You don't want to get old. <laughs> That's right. Diane, <laughs> wow. Did you dedicate this program to Barbara Jane Streisand yet? Because no, exactly. I have not. You know, it's funny because I haven't really watched the Coffee Talk show in a while, and you do understand that just a few days ago was the third anniversary, second or third anniversary of me and my girlfriend Kathy. We whisked away. We got on a jet plane and we went to Vegas. We wanted to see Baba in Brooklyn because I'm from Brooklyn and she's from Brooklyn. Actually, my mother went to high school at Barbara Streisand. No, no, no lie. Wow. They all went to Razzle's Hall High School, right? And Neil Diamond, they all went at the same time. But it was such a big school, they didn't really know each other. Um, but um, two or three years ago, I got to look at the date. Me and Kathy, I was able to get tickets at the MGM Arena to see Barbara. And I figure at Barbara's age, you never know how many more times she's going to come out and tour. You know, she could come out again, but she could not. She's looking very good. The voice is still there. I just want you to know. A couple of high notes, you know, but that's okay because I think she's doing good. She had like a whole choir, the whole thing. She had those three Italian boys that sing. Have you seen them? That the El Vivo. They are the three Italian boys. They're wonderful. Oh. And so we sat and we had a nice time. We got dressed up with something a little sparkly. Everybody was dressed up for Barbara. You know, you go to Toby <laughs> All jeans and t-shirts and flannel. Go to Barbara Streisand. Everybody's elegant. You know, it's just oh, not right. Don't get me started. I know, right? <laughs> so as far as Barbara, oh, it makes me verklempt to think that I may not see her again. But oh. I've seen her. I've lived. I can go to my grave. God rest my soul when the day comes, knowing I've witnessed Barbara live and in person and felt her energy. Take a, take a moment. Take a moment. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. I know. I, I was supposed to get up and do that. I was supposed to go, I got to stop away and talk amongst yourselves. Oh, my God. I, I put up all the graphics. I didn't even get, I didn't do my preparation properly. I didn't watch the clips to really remind oh my myself gosh. of the glory of Mike Myers. For those of you that are young and have no clue what we're talking about, go look up Coffee Talk, but don't spell it. I spelled it differently. Because I didn't want anybody to get mad, <laughs> but um, Coffee Talk just spelled regular. Go look it up on YouTube. It'll crack you up. <clears throat> Mike Myers, also known as uh, um, so, Austin Powers. You know, Lizzie yeah. never, 
she had no idea what I what what I was talking about last night when I started but your talking wife? in this voice, oh, and I was no. like, "Oh my God, you've never seen this!" Oh yes, it's classic. <laughs> so we found was that? ninety. When when was Mike Myers on? I don't even remember. Oh, it was, it was in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. We found yeah. the one with um, Madonna and <gasps> Roseanne Barr. Yes. That was the best. Yes. <laughs> that they were blurry. I was going to use them. I was say special guests on today's Coffee Talk. But you know what? I really like the Coffee Talk theme, so I really think I might do some Coffee Talks in the morning and some Hawk Mania at night because I just think it's funny and just have on different guests and discuss. Um, <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's just fun, goof. Guys, all I ever want to do is have fun and be free. And that's why, and I'll put it in the chat, I mean, you need to do this. And I don't come out very often, so like Ron Henley's here today. Ron knows me for years, Ron know, and Ron knows me for years. Mm. I don't very often say, you need to do this. You need to do this. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of when the last time I said it was. It doesn't come along very often, maybe somebody who's a, you know, a regular on my list. Um, you know, obviously we're offering, you know, that bonus December intensive for our group, but if you're somebody who's, you know, I spying today, um, you know, uh, you know, go get it. If you're, you know, a member with somebody else, you should still get it. Um, I know I've sold a lot of people even for my competition in this contest, which I think is funny. I'm not really trying to win. It just, you know, I'm just very serious and very committed to this mm -hmm. particular thing. Um, it's the new future of what we're doing at My Lead System Pro. Um, I think it's a new future for all of you. Um, I think that we have an incredible team. By the way, the offer, let me just be clear. People who are on my team that have invested in the course, they're the people that are able to um, have their people who invest in the course come to the, uh, come to the thing. So I want to make clear, get back with your person and ask them, because I, I want to just put the disclaimer, if you click and buy, I put a generic link so it would go to whoever invited you here. Um, if you click and buy, <clears throat> I'm not guaranteeing you're getting December intensive unless you're with one of the people. If you're one of, with one of the people on the screen, you're good to go. Um, otherwise, check with the person that invited you here just to be sure. Um, but December intensive is very special because December is the time of the year where um, the whole world goes to sleep or is caught mm -hmm. up eating cookies and you know Christmas shopping and stuff, and they forget about their business. Mm -hmm. And it yep. is the best time to get going because one, it's easier to be seen in December because everybody else is goofing off. Um, yeah. Two, you have 30 days in December, 31. Um, and I know it's the holidays, guys, but when are you going to, you know, and then in January it'll be Martin Luther King Day and in February it'll be President's Day and in March it'll be raining and in April it'll be my <laughs> birthday. You have to take the whole month off to die on birthday. And, and, and then in, in, in May, there's like May Day, you got to do dancing around the pole and then of course there's Memorial, Memorial Day, Day. you got to prepare for that for a month or so. Mm -hmm. And then in June, there's probably at least one wedding, two graduations and a partridge in a pear tree. You know, if not now, when? It's the best month to crank your new year. It's the you know truthfully that's a lie. The best time to crank your new year would have been back in the summer, but the summer's over. Mm -hmm. And believe me, by the naked trees, I woke up this morning. I looked at the window and I went, "There ain't a single leaf left." Oh Lord, it's coming! Right. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be no yeah. fun. And I know a lot of us are in it, so we can wind together. For those of you that are in the south or anything, I don't know. We'll be over for coffee at your house. So let me check the Q and A one more time, and then we're gonna blow out. Unless anybody has, do you guys have commentary? No. For no. The one thing I want to say is, um, you know, MLSP and sites take out the technical roadblocks. Mm -hmm. You don't need to hire someone um, unless you want to, if you want to do the advanced stuff. But it makes it so simple to, to create that online home. You need that place where people, it's like the cheers bar. You want people to come in and everybody knows your name when they get there. <clears throat> What's so important and what, what I like so much about this bundle is once the blog is done, you still need to put something out there. You can't just set up a blog and say, oh my God, now everybody's going to come to my blog and life's going to be sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Don't forget and unicorns. I, Don't forget and, unicorns. And sparkles. And, and, and puppies. Sparkles. Yeah. 
and the smelly markers. I know. My my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think that's why I think this bundle is so important, and I really love the idea of us as a group working through it and working through um, the end of the year because it is that content creation yep. that's going to drive it. Because you, you create the content. It's not like you have to create 18 different pieces and post it in different places. Create your blog and then take snippets, put it on Facebook and Twitter, and drive that traffic yep. to get the full story to your blog. And I, I think that's that's why I'm liking this so much. It's not so much the you know the blog and the technical part. It's you still have to fill it with useful stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, what's cool about the blog, and I'll be right there, Angela, is it's a short-term play and a long-term play. Um, and I, I'm really keen on talking about this a lot with people. The short-term play is I created a piece of content I should take one every day, and I can publicize it all over the net and on Facebook and on Twitter and so on, so that people are seeing me today. But the long-term play is the SEO value of all of these different posts and how they start ranking over time and you're building up internet real estate. So you're getting seen today, but it's, it's creating the stage for long-term kind of residual. You know, we talk about residual income. Residual traffic and sales is one of the biggest advantages that those people have been consistent have. That a lot of people, they're always busy looking for the new hot thing and they don't realize that that really big money is coming from that residual aspect. Residual exists in everything. Residual exists in your relationships. You know, uh, the best time to win a launch is a year before it by the relationships you're building. You know, the best time to build a downline is the year before you join the company. Everybody always gets annoyed when they see somebody join a company and they, sh you know, they, they do so much. But it's because of the relationships they built before they got there. Um, the best time to you know rank a post is by having done all the work all the, all the rest of the time so that the site has a good PR and we'll get into that later you know what all that means um, so you know all of that stuff that residual component the the, the hit today and then the long term residual component of it is powerful. Angela, you were going to say something, honey? Oh, I was just admiring Jeff's board over to the side. Um, I I love how. Um, and I've seen a, a couple webinars before how um, other leaders have used other places where they are to bring all their um, point all their social media back to their blog. So you creating your content is really important on your blog because point you know, pointing them back, you want them to hang out with you. You want them to get to know who you are there. Yep. Hey Diane, the the cool thing that about what you were just saying is, I just wanted to kind of share this is that I just started, you know, blogging regularly, and in this in the in the sense of the consistency, all these crazy things started to happen, and I think that part of the power of of being a part of this group and and what we're gonna do here is that we're going to develop those habits, the consistency. One of the crazy things that happened is I have a post, uh, you just one post on my blog that I didn't plan for this. I just was talking about something that I really enjoyed and something that I was using, a tool, and it started ranking in Google and YouTube and all these different places, right? And all of a sudden, all of this traffic started dropping in and you can see leads every single day because of this one post mm -hmm. out of the blue. Mm -hmm. That's the power of that long-term play that you were just talking about, Diane, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't even planning on that. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's... I can't describe it. I, again, so many people want something instant, and I totally get that. So do I. I'm always like scanning where you know where's a neat, ni nice new neat thing, um, you know. But in the end, it's really about that long term, uh, you know, that long term practice of doing that. And and the other thing too is a lot of people are like, uh, I posted a blog. Why didn't it rank? It's sweet <laughs> serendipity. I know there's a science to SEO. 
-hmm. and, and Tula and Rob Four and everybody will teach us more about it. By the way, that's the other thing about MLSP. When you do sites with MLSP, you got Rob Four and Ray Higdon, two of the biggest bloggers in the world, two, and very different bloggers. Um, you know, Rob has made millions with his blog. Ray has too, but it's a different... You know, Rob has a blog farm, and Ray has one blog. So um, blog farms are just like it sounds like. He grows blogs. So he waters them. He plants them, he waters them, and they grow, and they, they grow money. So, um, you know, everybody wants something quick. And, but what starts to happen is you'll do one post, and for some reason it ranks... Like really well, you'll do another one and it doesn't do that much. It's the same with videos, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the title, it's the keywords, it's the day, it's the it's the you know the the set of the sale, the wind. You know which way is the wind blowing? And the, and the wind on the internet changes, and that's what's so cool that Google then changes their algorithm and a bunch of your posts that used to rank don't rank, and then a whole bunch of the new ones, you know, other ones do rank. When you're consistent, you have enough real estate out there that the 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 wind doesn't bother you anymore. Right. That's, that's a really powerful concept that people don't realize. The wind can't get to me. The wind can't get to Ray. The wind can't get to a lot of people. The wind can get to the person that, you know, like they built their little straw house and, and, the, and the hurricane is coming and they're like, oh my God, is it going to blow me away? A program going out can't get me. Uh, mm -hmm. A product scandal. You know, there's scandals. Some, somebody creates a product, you go out and sell it, and the next thing you know, you find out they're a pedophile or something. You're yeah. screaming. You know, your reputation and that longevity, um, and the longevity is your decision to start today. You know, it's, it's your decision to start today. Uh, I think there was one other question or two other questions. Hang on. Um, graphics. Steve's asking about graphics. Um, if you check in our group, Steve, um, we have a lot of people that know of decent designers and stuff like that. Jim's also going to be showing you we have a training on how to do your own graphics if you care to, and they're pretty cool looking. Um, and then Jim's also going to be showing some stuff. And my understanding is that they're also going to be providing us, could be lying here, but I heard that they might be providing us with a bunch of different ones that are not us-centric but like um, industry set, like health and wellness and stuff like that, so that that way, if you want to get something up quick before you get, so the whole idea is to get something up and get blogging, as opposed to worrying about all the graphics. That way, you can use something generic and then change it. You know, so we should be providing some different things. And again, check back in our group. I know several people have people on Fiverr that they like that do quality work. A lot of people on Fiverr do crappy work. Um, we also have people in the group that are pretty good that might be willing to, you know, it's just an extra cash flow opportunity right now. People need headers for those of you that know how to do them. <clears throat> I have no problem with you saying, hey, I'll make headers for 25 bucks or something like that as long as it's reasonable. Um... If you have a domain and a website that is ugly and basic, does the blog take its place? It could if you wanted to. <laughs> you know, um, if you uh, and nobody asks me about it. If you have an existing blog, you can transfer it in. If you hate us someday and don't want to stay here, can you exp export your blog out? Absolutely. We're just giving you um, what you might call it grade hosting, like the super fast. Incredible hosting. We're giving you all the plugins, the tools, the themes. We're saving you a lot of money. Um, no, the themes and the plugins don't go with you if you do export your blog. You know, um, you know that's you know we paid for them. The MLSP paid for them. They're letting you use them. They have a license for it. So basically, you're you know it's kind of like being on Dad's car insurance. <laughs> you know, you want to stay on Dad's car insurance as long as you can. Dad's paying for your cell phone because it only costs him an extra ten to keep you on the plan. And then someday Dad goes. If you leave, when you leave my house, you're going to have to pay for your own. And that first time you got to pay for car insurance, it's just brutal. Um, it's like that. It's like, you know, the content all belongs to you. You can take it wherever you want. Um, but the, the actual, the blog, the graphics belong to you. It's just the actual um, theme and stuff. If you haven't bought that theme, uh, you can go buy the theme on your own. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg. So we're giving you a leg up by giving you access. And then there's a lot of other questions that people have coming in about, you know, well, what if one guy is a spammer and everybody else isn't? Is he going to ruin it for us? Because there have been different platforms out there where everybody is really under the same domain and it was just like subdirectories. No, this is yours. This is yours. This is yours. You bring in your domain name. It's separate. The other reason why we like this is because remember in the past when we used to promote different events, when everybody promoted at once, 
Facebook would start to go, no, 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 there's mm -hmm. something wrong with this link, even though it was just a training we were promoting or whatever. Um, so now you're able to, you're going to be able to utilize your blog to connect into all the offers and the system campaigns and everything, so you use your own domain. Um, and it, it, again, it's always branding you instead of My Lead System Pro, and it's bringing traffic back to you the way you want, um, so it's going to give you a lot of advantages. And what's nice is if, if you have that website already established, whether it looks nice or not, you can you can just push that that domain name yeah. to MLSP. So for all intents and purposes, your customer base doesn't know that you've changed hosts because they're never going to see MLSP. It's just going to be you know xyzcompany.com. Yeah. And if it's done properly, the internet doesn't even know that you moved. You know, like you're, you'll keep your rankings. So those of you that are more advanced, your Alexa rank won't change, your PR rank won't change, your none of that stuff will change because you just got a site map. There's a certain way to do it, and we have very specific directions. It is not that hard. Um, and again, could you hire someone to do this with you? Yeah. Again, another little money-making opportunity for some of you guys that are experienced with this. I keep thinking you, Tula. I don't know if it's if you have time or any interest in doing any of that stuff. I wouldn't get caught up for too long. But for a week or two, you probably can make a bundle <laughs> just doing some stuff. For, you know, hey, it's Christmas. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. again, bring it back down to Hockman. Hockman's all about making money. So if there's a window of opportunity to make some money on the side, I'm always looking for it. So. Anyway, it's 12.30. We are going to dispense with our coffee talk. We need to get back to work. There's very busy, important things to be done today for all of us. So tonight, we got a little, I'm doing the show, which is just generic. It doesn't sell anything. If anybody wants to come by, check uh, my wall. It'll be going on. That's um, It's kind of like my new podcast, but it's video. Uh, Amparo is going to be doing the show with me tonight. For those of you that asked about auditions for being a co-host, I am going to run those auditions next week. I can't do them this week because it's Larry's birthday. Um, so that'll be fun. We're going to do, it's going to be like Star Search, you know, or something. It's going to be like The Voice. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, I'll let everybody who asked about that know what's going on. Um, be fun and silly. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, if any of you guys were like had major questions, you didn't write them in the box, so I think everybody's happy, but if you had major questions, um, get with your person and ask. I am doing some little kind of get-togethers, just, you know, two, three, four people at a time. If you have, like, a, a scenario that's for you, you know, you specifically, happy to answer them. And then tomorrow, we'll see whether I'm going to do something or not, or whether we're going to do something. I'm thinking about doing some kind of, like, mini consultations if people are interested, um, just, like, branding stuff, like, just bringing people over and talking to them for a few minutes and then finding out what they're into. For example, Chris Julian was just saying, you know, what she's up to, taking someone like that and then giving them kind of a branding, branding consultation. Maybe we'll offer that. In fact, that's an idea. If you guys get... Um, the Ultimate Blog Bundle today, anybody who gets it today, and I'll put this out to my list, and you guys can too, um, I'll see what I can book for tomorrow. Why don't we give them a mini consultation tomorrow? Um, you know, go ahead and, and make Ooh. the commitment, and then if you don't like your mini consultation, cancel. Um, but, you know, like a 10-minute consultation, suggestions and ideas for the angle of your blog, and then, of course, you would be coming to... Um, we're going to start working right away, so I'm calling it December Intensive because it's always December Intensive, but we, we're really starting, like, now. Um, you know, Thursday. So it's December and a half intensive. Um, so obviously you'll be with us for a month and a half working on this. And then if you stay a member, you're going to be hooked into all of us long term. So uh, the offer is up. You guys have it. Hopefully most of you guys that are on, I know, have gotten it already. But if anybody didn't, go ahead and grab it. Uh, we can do some mini consultations tomorrow if there's a need. Otherwise, uh, everybody have just a terrific day. Um, and I'm working on my course myself. I, I went through a couple units um, while we were in the car, and I'm going to catch some more units today and get my stuff going so that I can help all of you guys. All right, everybody? Have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys later, and thank you for coming for Coffee Talk. Thank you, Donnie. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, yeah, talk amongst yourselves. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>